hello guys welcome back to make money online today we'll be going through the registration process on click quicker you can check the description for a direct link to the sign up page of click quicker so how this works sign up at clickworker.com fill out your user profile complete short assessments good results ensure many jobs process your jobs online gets paid on a weekly or monthly basis so the better the quality of the work you provide the more jobs you get and the more jobs you get the higher they pay your benefits at a glance easy started assessments good quality work ensures an increase in earnings work from home whenever you have time you don't have to worry about customer acquisition we take care of the distribution of the jobs to you so they deal with the customers get the jobs from the customers then they put it on their website so you can work on them so you don't have to go look for customers on your own everything is done for you this gives you more time for your own work and you don't have to write invoices either we we take care of the entire process including payments to you weekly or monthly payments via sepa or paypal or pioneer which is the best option to me and ad and i advise to use that option instead i've read a couple of times online that people who used paypal as their payment method sometimes had a delay in payment it, sometimes it took weeks and sometimes two months so and i have been using pioneer for close to a year now and i haven't had any of such problems so i would advise you use pioneer if you don't have a pioneer account i'll leave a link in the description on my video on how to create a pioneer account 24 7 support from our click worker community so let's go ahead and click on register but remember i have a direct link to the sign up page in the description so i already have a click worker account and please be cautious click worker doesn't support people having multiple accounts so stick with one account you can't use the details you use for one account to create another one to create another account on click worker your if they find out you would both accounts of yours would be suspended and you wouldn't be able to work on there again so please stick to one account this would be a dummy account and i'll delete it right after i'm done with the registration process and i am risking my accounts getting banned so please pray for me so gender female affect name affect i miss first name so a dummy account so i wouldn't be using my actual name For the native languages, you choose English, but if you know how to speak any other languages and they are on the list here, you can accept them. But mind you, there are some languages that will require you to take a video verification. There's a video of you speaking the language, talking about matters of the current 
current masters of the world in that language so if you know you do not know how to speak a language please don't add it because click record is very strict when it comes to languages so make sure that you do understand those languages afterwards you select your street zip code and your city and your phone number i already as i said i already have a click record an account on a click record already so i would not be able to add it here because it's already i will not be able to add my phone number because it's already linked to my account and if i do so they would detect it in their system so it's just two steps the first one and this so after this you're done with the sign in registration process then so after you sign up click worker is going to send you an email to verify the accounts you've created so please check your email to find the mail they sent you so you can verify and if you don't find it you can check your spam too because most often they go to spam sometimes they go to spam so this is my click worker account after you are done verifying and logging in you go to profile you would have to fill some profile details about me your highest degree title grade professional it doesn't really matter it's, you can actually leave this you can actually leave this blank it doesn't really make much difference but then if you have anything you want to put in there you can put in there and then your languages guys don't be like me i can't speak japanese I, I know a little bit of french but i can't speak japanese but i put it in there and i was able to get some away with it but don't be like me you might not be lucky so reading and writing mother tongue you put in the languages you know how to speak then the skills you check all these boxes because you'll be working on stuff here so just don't leave anything out to get more so maximize the number of the quantity of jobs you receive then translation the languages you can translate from whichever to whichever you let them know down here then your hobbies you go ahead and check your hobbies and your know-hows any of them all of them if you can but then there is a limit so check as many as you can so your profile your profile does not need to be 100% complete before you start working on click worker so after you are done checking mine is at 80% and I, I'm still able to work on here so after this you would go to assessments guys in order to be able to work on UHRs you would have to take an English test it's just basic English comprehension so you take the test and when you do pass you would be able to sign create your UHRs accounts then you start working I was able to score 100% here but I think the pass mark is I don't really remember but it's either 75 or 80 percent and it's just basic english so it's not that difficult to pass so after the assessment then you would be given the opportunity to create a uhrs account and with that you would need you would need a live id which is the microsoft email out either outlook or hotmail or but then you don't have to create it first before signing up on clickworker because clickworker has special live ids you would need to have in order to be able to work on their platform so if you already have a live id logged in on your browser you would have to sign out immediately before you go ahead with clickworkers so clickworkers live id so the clickworker id would have special characters and they would list on their page how you'd go about it to create it so it shouldn't be difficult to do so so after you are done creating your live id then you just have to log into your uhrs account with that live id and then you are done you can start working but most often when you are a beginner on uhrs you don't you rarely get um tasks 
you would get between one to three tasks. So you would have to give it four, four days to one week before you get the full, all the tasks on their page. So if you create your account and, and, you, and you realize you don't have a lot of tasks, you just have one or two or three, don't panic. They would come in a matter of days, then you can start working. So, and one more thing. After you are done creating your live ID, you would have to go to payment details. Over here, you would be asked to choose your payment method, whether PayPal, Payoneer, or SEPA. So this is where you choose your payment method. And I still advise to use Payoneer. Then you would need to provide your tax information to send a payment to your account. So if you are in Ghana, you can use your um ten number if you don't have a ten number you can use the identification number on your Ghana card and if you are from any other country you would have to use your tax identification number so that's what I use here but sometimes you get lucky and you are not asked to provide your task your tax identification number and you can just choose that you are not a member a citizen of the UK or the USA and you wouldn't have to provide any tax information so this is the end of the video thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and please click on the bell icon to receive notifications anytime i upload a new video and if you have any additional suggestions or questions please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching and see you in my next video